Hi, I'm Morten Gans Pedersen, and you're watching Rovers Channel. Hello and welcome back to the Rovers Chat YouTube channel. I'm back for a transfer talk, as you'll tell by the title and the graphic around me. We're just going to look at some of the transfer rumours over the last week. Since I last recorded one, it's really hotted up. You know, we're going to have everything covered from the last seven days or so in terms of transfers. And we'll try and build a bit of a story, see where the windows actually are at the moment. And see if Rovers actually going to sign anyone or let anyone go. So let's just get into it. So we'll start with an update from Rick Sharp. Rovers waiting game for the January transfer breakthrough. It says Rovers are playing for the uh, playing the waiting game in the bid to make breakthroughs. They've identified targets and made contact and the waiting decisions. Now Rovers are in this situation where we've got to wait because we can't go out and outbid clubs. We go for players that other clubs are going for, as we'll discuss in this. And you know, you look at all the factors going into it and we're expecting to wait. January's quite quiet. I think there's been 24 championship signings and 14 have been made by the bottom six. So that really sums up the need for transfers in terms of those bottom clubs and how the rest of the league's having to wait. So it's not something that I think we should really worry about. In terms of incomings, there has been a lot of rumours. The first one I want to discuss, Dennis Undav. I hope I pronounced that right. Rovers are interested in signing my loan for the season. Uh, 26 year old. Eight appearances for Brighton, scored in a cup game at Middlesbrough, and he's got a really good record. I put this out on Twitter uh, earlier today, yesterday, from when you've seen this. Dennis Under, 117 goals and 53 assists and 245 appearances. He's played the fourth team and third team of Germany, uh, and also the top tier of Belgian football, scoring in 43 and 63, and that makes me want this signing. It's a good league, I hate to say, but Burnley have done so well in the transfer market going in that league, and obviously, the company knows it well. Uh, and they've done really well getting players out of that league, and I think it'd be a good market for us to go into. We did well in the Belgian market with Kaminsky, uh, and I think it'd be a really one, good one for us. So let us know below, would you be happy with that one? You know, like I mentioned on that stats, really good record in the top tier. Let us know down below whether you'd actually be happy with it. Up next, another striker link, Joe Gellhard. I hope I pronounced him right again, but uh, Sky Sports last Sunday, Rovers are keen to sign uh, Legion Act striker Joe Gellhardt, According to the Sun on Sunday, he's only started one Premier League game, pushed down the rankings by and the pecking order by Georgino Rutter arriving from Hoffenheim. Uh, got an assist in the Cup win over Cardiff yesterday. And he's done all right this season, you know. He, Leeds fans are saying he's a prim quality player, he just needs to run a games, which Leeds can't really afford to give because the Premier League is such a brutal place to play that if you lose a few in a row, you're in the trouble and the manager's in trouble. So he's had to go with the more experienced players, but all the reports are really glowing. Came from Wigan, so local lad. Uh, do you know what? I think I'd be happy with either of these. And I'd rather have Undav. Let us know below who would you rather have out of the two because it looks like it'll be one or the other. Uh, personally, Undav for me due to his you know, experience in the top divisions, but I don't think it'll like, be a bad deal. Up next, Gavin Kilkenny, one that Rob's got linked to, but Richard were quick to close it down uh, this time last week. Based on what I've gleaned since the link emerged, I don't think there's anything in the Kilkenny talk, and it's definitely not the advanced. I think this is kind of a bullet that Rovers need to avoid. Kilkenny's played three or four times for start this season, been out injured a lot. Probably going to take a month for two to get back to fitness, and by the time that's done, then can he get into the team? It's basically the end of the season. So for me, it's one I'd avoid. Uh, but, you know, he is highly rated, but I just think I'd avoid it. I don't think it's the right, uh, the right move for us. So let's go on to outgoing. Uh, the big news, which we'll start off with, I think it's only fair to start off with this news Ben Brereton Diaz. Now, from the Express Sport, they've put an article out on Wednesday. Uh, Villarreal find Ben Brereton Diaz agreement as Dan Juma receives transfer blessing. Obviously, Dan Juma from Bournemouth don't involve us though. Villarreal believe they've won the race to sign Diaz on a free contract. Uh, he's been the subject of extensive interest, but it looks like he's going to go to Villarreal. Now, whether this is true, we're not 100% sure yet, but it's looking likely. Yeah, Express Sport, I think, are a good source. Uh, I don't think they post it without something being behind it. People were linking it on Twitter over the weekend. I know his absence were related to the, uh, the birth of his child, which you know we'd like to wish him and his partner and all the family congratulations to it. But I know it were linked to that, but a lot was saying about this move maybe happening, and it looks like it is. It's a... It's one we expected coming and we'll have a different reaction video, we'll have a separate reaction, but for me it's what we expected. Now, the rumour at, at the time of recording is that 
they may pay up to eight million to get him in January. I think I'd be for that, but I'm, it's one of them where I'm happy either way. The question is, does his head stay in it for the rest of the season? I know he's a commit player. I don't get me wrong, Diaz has fought for this club all season, although last year when interest were building. But then when it, you've got to move, does he not want to get injured? Not at all. He doesn't want to scupper any kind of move or any start there. I hope, and I'm sure he'll be committed, but I don't know if that'll be in the back of his mind. It's a tough one. We, we don't have that situation much as we have. It's very rare we have players signed up to pre-contracts because... Not many of our players go abroad and then not a lot of Scottish clubs come for our players. So this one is one we'll have to wait and see on whether he stays or whether he leaves. Whatever he does, he goes with our best wishes. I think he's been brilliant for this club. Uh, all them years ago when he were getting one in a season, who'd have thought we'd get to this stage where he had 20 odd last season uh, and then this season he's you know, 9 or 10 and I think he deserves the best. I think it's a good move from going abroad and I wish him and uh, his family all the best with a move. I really do. It's one that we've just got to accept happening and move on and try and get a replacement for, really. And just, That's football for you. We've lost enough strikers over the years that have been the main man. Jordan Rhodes really could stare down him Armstrong. We're used to it now, but it doesn't hurt any less. But all the best to do as if the move does actually come off. Uh, one done deal, James Brown has gone to Doncaster Rovers. Lovely graphic there announcing it from Doncaster. I think this is a good move. You know, Doncaster actually sold their right back Niall to Stockport County where Brown was. Now Brown's gone in there. I think it's a good move for him. A good club, you know, really good club. I think it's a big club in League Two. One that won a challenge at the right end of the table and one that a positive club for him. And I think this is a good move for him. Whether he's in the plans next year, we don't know. Probably not with JRC here and Carter, Callum Britton, but a good move for him. And I think this is where he needs to properly implement himself, get there. And then even if it doesn't work at Rovers, he should get a League One or League Two move. Uh, just to round us off, a few little rumours to tie up. Clint Tamola looks like he'll be staying the season. We've been playing for Stuttgart and Blackburn already this season. It's the only two clubs he can play for, so it doesn't look like Stuttgart will recall him. Dylan Markande looks to be sticking around after impressing off the bench at Rotherham and impressing with his start against Norwich. He looks like he'll be a part of this team going forward. Uh, and Taylor Eddins, as far as we know, set for a move to Charlton. We've been waiting for Eddins to go for a bit, especially since the last transfer. So at the time of recording, he's not gone. He shouldn't have gone by the time I put this out. But that's where we're at. Let us know down below what you think of all the rumours. Undav or Gellhart and the Burton Diaz one really are the main ones. Are you happy with either of them strikers? What's your take on uh, Diaz's potential move to Spain? Let us know below. We'll be back to you for a new video. Hit like and hit subscribe. We'll have the rest of the transfer window covered and the entire season and beyond. We really appreciate your support. So do all that stuff. Like, subscribe, comment and we'll be back to you for a new video. Thank you for watching. Like I said, the support's always appreciated. Yeah.